Welcome one and all to day number two of this test match between South Africa and Bangladesh coming to you live from Kingsmead. Overcast day today as we start up and the players have made their way onto the park. It was Bangladesh who won the toss yesterday and decided that they would field first. What well, fielding from the flying Mehdi Hassan Miraj. Wonderful run out from him to run out Keegan Peterson. And really was the star of the day, you'd say, for Bangladesh, who, in terms of their bowling, having chosen to bowl first, didn't quite bowl as they'd have liked. Not in session number one, where South Africa collected 95 runs with Dean Elgar getting a half century, his second fastest in test match cricket. Him and Irvia batting quite nicely to put on 113 starts for everybody who went out there. And it's now Bavuma on 53 and Verena on 27 who will begin the day for South Africa. Look at the bowling and they're the three wickets. There's a run out as well. Tuscan without a wicket, he's the quickest of the lot. Ebadot, Khaled bowled okay and got better as the day went along. Mehdi did a fantastic job, one for 57 from his 26 to hold the game. And also three overs from the skipper, Mohamed al -Huk, left arm orthodox to just keep things quiet. We head into today, looking forward to a new ball and to see how this pitch behaves as well. <laughs> Runs, four of them. Inauspicious the start with this new ball. Need to set the tone, do Bangladesh. Shouts of catch it, it's aerial that, but it's in the gap. Four runs. Oh, that's going to be out. Oh, that's out. That is so out. There's the breakthrough for Bangladesh on target, linked fuller, and they're in business. Yeah, we've been talking about that line in length. He's been missing it for a big time this morning. And this is a partnership that's particularly important for South Africa. Well, that was crashing into the stumps. It's 2-4-5 for five. Oh, nice. Oh, what about that? Two in a row, a super catch as well to go with it. Fantastic from Khaled. Mamadou Hassan joined the gully with a catch, first ball. Mole is going to go for Nort. South Africa, 2.45 for six. Oh, it's played it very, very awkwardly. Very, very awkward. Some mixed emotions there in the South African dressing room. We see Maraj, evasive action. Wasn't there to duck. It's Graham Dibon. He handled it pretty well, Polly. The worry will be that uh, it was his left arm, his hand, his, his spinning hand. Shot. Beautifully played. A little flick of the back leg for the flourish. Some flair from Bavuma for four. In the air and dropped. Tell you what, there was another flying Bangladesh cricketer. We called Mahedi the flying Mahedi yesterday with a run out. Yasir Ali is the new flyer here. Oh, that gets big on Temba. And it's one of those that stick or does, you know, some days they stick, you get genius who'll pull them off more often than not, and others who will fingertip it round the post. Beautiful. What about that? Prepared to go over the top, but followed through it. Tremendous. It's an example of Maharaj's, you know, sense of spirit as a cricketer. We see him do this with the back quite often. Instead, Tembo decides to sweep and powerfully. Well placed, beating the diving field. It gets him to 90. 
There's Lawn, deep mid-wicket and deep square. Oh, he's bowled him! Oh, no, Temba! Trying to cut the off-spinner. The wait will continue. It was quicker, it was flatter, and heartbreak for all of South Africa because Temba Bavuma, who was on the brink of his second Test 100, has to wait some more because he's gone. It's been a splendid innings. Here's Maharaj. And he's bowled as well. They're cleaning it up now, our oh, Bangladesh. Eberdot gives the stock salute. Maharaj's going to go for wall plate 19. South Africa, 298 for eight. Cut away. That one didn't turn and it's cut for four. It's a good stroke by Harmer and it's the first real release that Bangladesh have given South Africa for some while. The ball that takes us to lunch. And it's clipped away sweetly by Lazard Williams for a boundary that ends the session and that'll bring a smile to South African faces. Played. Stood up right at the top of the ball's bounce, held his position, it ran off the blade. Didn't push out at it, that's the trick. Chance, great taken. Oh, it's a great catch, isn't it? Well done. Ashwell nailed it. Chance and taken, he said. Super move to his right side, and it's a well-deserved wicket for Khalid Ahmed. He's bowled with great courage. It's his fourth, and South Africa are nine down. Yeah, that's Mamadou Hassan Joy again in the Gali region. He took a beauty early on in the innings. Asked him to go again, and he's gone again, all right. Even further, gone for six. No rolling of the wrist this time, or was it a rolled wrist that hit the top edge? Decides to go for it. That's a really good hit. Six runs to Simon Harmer. That's a fortunate boundary. He opens the face trying to guard it behind square, but not intentionally trying to go between the slip and the gully. But it's a bonus boundary, and he'll take it. Harmer heads to 37. Another big appeal as it turned too much again, and this time he's gone. Will Olafia send it upstairs? He's looking at his partner. Yep, he's going to go upstairs, but this may yet be the end of the South African innings. It's just a matter of whether it turned too much. He was back and across. Ball tracking coming up. Original decision is out. Pitching outside off. Impact is in line. And oh, it, it is umpire's, umpire's call score. again, and this Maria, time because Maria Rasmus gave it out. Juan Olafia has to go. It's been a worthy partnership for the last wicket. He's gone for 12. And in the end, South Africa have finally been dismissed for 367. That's the roller that's been asked for to try and remove any of those little divots that might still be there. There's a seven and a half minute roll between innings and that they've asked for the big, the biggest, heaviest one have Bangladesh, they decide, the batting side going in have the choice. And they've decided that's what they'll look for to try and flatten this pitch out. They don't want liveliness there. South Africa batted really well. They were put in yesterday on a green pitch and conditions that looked SEMA friendly. And Elgar and Irvi started things beautifully with a partnership of 130. And thereafter, Bangladesh found their lengths. And it's only really Temba Bavuma who's shone in that South African batting lineup, holding the middle order and then the lower middle order together. Harmer with a, a nice, useful contribution on his return after a gap of 55 tests to make that 38 not out and get South Africa to a useful score of 367. It's got pretty gloomy pretty quickly, but here's Lazard Williams starting his test career with the ball. And he's punched down the ground for four. A little too full to start, but uh, I think his skipper would rather see that than too short. Yeah, it's a lovely shot. Oh, well done. Pick the length so quickly. Terrific stroke. Shadman Islam also looks in touch. Oh, yeah! Got him! Hammer is back! 
We've seen him give it a lot of air. This seems like it was the quicker one. In fact, it was 92 kilometers per hour. The others have been averaging just over 80. Oh! That's nasty played. Brilliant timing and it beats the infield. And he'll get underway with a fantastically timed boundary. 12 down, 34. Down he comes, and away it goes. Good footwork. And uh, a decent clean hit. Yeah, a very decent clean hit. We couldn't pick the flight of the ball up. But he's... Down the ground he goes, and he's got all of that. It's going for six. Finally, good footwork from Shanto. Up the ground he goes and smashes it for his second six, and it brings up the 50 partnership between these two. Here's Harmer. Oh! Simon Harmer has bowled an absolute peach. You won't get a better off spinner's delivery than that. Pitching straight, turning to hit the top of off. That is quality from Simon Harmer. He picks up his second, South Africa's second of the innings. Bangladesh now 80 for two. Shanto goes for 38. Catch it, is yeah. it, it is, it's a great catch. It is a brilliant catch at Silly Point. Harmer struck again, but this time it was the excellence of the fielder at Silly Point. Two spinners have operated in tandem. They're having an impact, controlling the game and taking the wickets. Huck goes without scoring, 80 for three. Oh. That's a good shot too. Well, this is good cricket. This every ball is an event. Feels like a, a Shane Warne comment. Yeah, Joy has had to wait a long time for that. That's a really good shot. I think Mushfakur is very happy taking spinners on, but but mainly with the sweep stroke and getting it back and away from the ball and smashing it through the offside. Yeah! And that one, what about it? Uh, Harmer really likes that one, but it doesn't get given out. And and uh, Mushfakur looks cool as a cucumber again what about Harmer is so sure he wants Dean Elgar to review they've got three reviews Dean Elgar does review I'm not surprised keep rolling yeah just go back okay there's a spike as the balls next to the glove just roll that through yeah there's a spike I'm I'm satisfied Maria I'm gonna ask you to reverse your decision of not out to out. Barrera has to correct again, so the technology has worked well. And Simon Harmer deserves credit for pushing hard. Mushfikar Rahim gone for seven, 94 for four. Mohamed Al Hassan Joy takes guard for the final time today. No! Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. There was bat and pad in it, but he survives and turns immediately to walk to the dressing room before pausing to wait for his mate at the non-striker's end. The South Africans, 269 in front. Bangladesh, just six of their first innings wickets remaining. Fascinating stuff. A pleasure to watch the old arts of the game and enjoy them.